Hello, folks. <clears throat> oh, fuck. I feel like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I wasn't a good idea, dude. Coffee. We were, we were going to order chicken and waffles. And then Stav uh, fatly bullied everyone in the game. That's sushi. absolutely not sushi true. Sushi is better for you than That's chicken and waffles. That's not the fat move. The fat move was your stance to get fucking fried chicken. To get breakfast CPS. food for breakfast. It's breakfast small, fried chicken. It's, it's 1230. It was 1230 when we were making that decision. The breakfast just means the first meal you eat in the day. Just because your bitch ass woke yeah, up Yeah, it's noon. technically breaking the fast, right, of not eating. Yeah, that's what it means. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, the breakfast is uh, 10 a.m., McDonald's breakfast rules, 11.30. They changed Again, explain to me again how this isn't McDonald's breakfast is all day. You, huh? How this isn't I was going for the healthier choice while you're trying to get fucking... It's not the healthier choice, dude. 100%. Sushi is so much healthier. No, it's a matter of fucking calories. You know, I mean, I can eat a normal amount. It's not a healthier choice when you have to have, like, six rolls of sushi and a soup and a salad Three, my bitch. Salad is good for you. Miso soup is basically just fucking water. So healthier, as far as I'm concerned. Well, I want to throw up, dude. Well, With all the coffee and the sushi. It's because you're dying. Well, you also had two large coffees. Yeah. And well, I need them to wake up, otherwise I get hit. There's headaches. something about this apartment. It's voodoo cursed. Yeah. No, there's. Like, I felt sick. Remember when I was sick as shit? Yeah. And I would, and we hung out here a couple of days, and I was like, man, my co- my cold isn't going away. Yeah. And I just stayed home for one day, and I was fucking fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think there's these fucking cats, dude. Yeah. No, it is. There's too much dander and shit. Some kind of cat fever, cat scratch fever, Ted yeah, Nugent yeah, yeah. style. Um, uh, that's probably what it is. We're watching the uh, new Tim Allen sitcom. Not new. It's been on <laughs> since 2011. 2011. It just wiki. Yeah, this well, shit. most people don't know about it, so that makes it new. But it's crazy that it's been out for six years and we have never heard of it. I, I've heard of it. I knew what it was. But uh, Damn, we get it, dude. Stop yeah. bragging. No, I pay attention to television considering I work in this industry. Yeah. I don't have a future. Yeah, I'm an it. artist, dude. I'm a fucking... Yeah. I go right to the crowd, man. You yeah. and your corporate fucking entities. Not me. Nah, man. Anybody I know that like has a TV writing job, they watch every show. Yeah. They yeah. like still... like You know, when people are like, uh, do you watch SNL? I'm like, no, why would I watch SNL? Right. What is it, 1999? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> if the Spartans ain't on there, yeah. if Sherry O'Terry ain't doing <laughs> something weird with her eye, yeah, yeah. if she's not making her left eye twitch, I'm not interested, yeah. bitch. When people are like, oh, man, last night's monologue, not the best. And it's like, <laughs> how are you still watching that show? Yeah, someone <laughs> sent us, uh, or sent me a DM, like, can't wait to get the Come Boys take on Aziz Ansari's monologue. I was like, it. I'm pretty sure none yeah, of us no, watch it. Yeah, I'm not. I yeah. have zero interest in watching. And it. also, fuck SNL for the fucking. I mean, this the of suspending that writer for the Baron Trump tweet. That shit's fucking crazy. You don't even know her name, dude. I don't need to know her name. Yeah, you do. What's her name? Uh, Robert Paulson. <laughs> her name is Robert Paulson. <laughs> <laughs> is it Kate something? Yeah, Katie Rich. Yeah. Shouts out, Katie Rich. Yeah, yeah. We uh, it's an official stance of our podcast. We stand with we Katie. Stand with Katie. Yeah. yeah, I don't know who she is, and I'm but sure still. she'll have no problem. For I looked at her background; she's like a, a improv person. So. Well, ne- I take that back. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> any other circumstance, I wouldn't give a shit about this person whatsoever. But she, I just love that fucking that fucking retard Cameron Esposito. She tweeted. Uh, <laughs> she goes. Uh, she goes. Mm, this is going to sound extremely accurate, but uh, a lot of uh, male writers say a bunch of bonkers shit, and they don't get fired. And it's like, yeah, that's the takeaway from this that we're not firing enough comedy writers. <laughs> yeah. Katie, no, don't get me wrong. Katie Rich should be fired for what she for right, writing right, right. political satire, Damn, that's a which is her take. job. But the problem is that we need to fire more men. Yeah. Wow. Oh, thank you, Cameron, for such a genius fucking take. Right, the problem isn't that we have just started going after people for the words they say, yeah. and now that the tables have turned, we're also fucked. Well, we're yeah, getting, yeah. We're That's going, not the oh, issue. Oh, yeah, the amount, of comics, the amount of comics I saw on Twitter pretending like this is a fucking precedent being set, and not a direction that we were headed in for two years, when anybody who is reasonable... Who More said, than two years. Well, no, mostly the last two years. 2014 is when this shit started yeah, to go real right. crazy. Yeah. And when I... Wait, you know, anybody that fucking said, like, hey, you know, one day it's not going to be a bunch of fucking fat liberal women <laughs> right, controlling right. the dialogue right. on this issue, and it's going to be conservatives that are going to come back into power, and they're going to use 
all this bullshit about how yeah. well if your language offends somebody, you know, it shouldn't. We should question whether or not free speech have is good. Words consequences. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to be on the right side of history. Well, here you are. You set this up. You wanted this to happen. You made your bed. Now I you know. have to fucking lie in it. But also, fuck every Republican who's like. Who was like? No, for... good on them for learning from these people. <laughs> no, nah, dude, come on. No, they 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 said they looked at what people were doing with uh, Daniel Tosh. It wasn't the Republicans fucking... though. It was it was, it was fucking was... Lauren Michaels. It was it was no, the no, no, Lauren Michaels was wasn't offended. And retweeted all dude, this it was shit. yeah, it was people. It was fucking like oh, it was, like it was bikers for Trump. <laughs> bikers for Trump that were that were scared because they got glitter blown on them. <laughs> Did you see that shit? There were nine hundred thousand <laughs> bikers for Trump <laughs> at the women's rally. <laughs> yeah, man, doing wheelies. Yeah, we're fucked. That no, shit sucks. It's, you know, it's it's t- totally. This is the fucking I told you so moment for everyone that would said you know well if rape jokes are off limits where do you draw the line right and then these people are like just you draw the line directly in front of the things that I like <laughs> that you conveniently gerrymander uh, all the things that bother me this is 100 then, you're absolutely yeah, right and then we make those things off limits and that'll never backfire ever right Whenever, there's never going to be any consequences the next thing that's going to happen is always believe rhetoric is going to be used to throw LGBT what is, what people in jail. What is that? Jail. Always believe. Obama? Always be- Oh no. I'll, I always believe is part of like campus sex assault activists. But I mean, I'm sure. It, oh, you always believe. In always accusation. believe women. Always believe rape accusations. Yeah, yeah. Always because in some cases it's you know, it, it, the rare instance that it is false. But then they're they're going to fucking appropriate that somehow. How? And what's that? Like, believe who? Believe uh, probably children. There'll be some new like you know child uh oh children are being exploited by trans people mm-hmm. and then you know why would a child lie about that and that's where you go from there but it's gonna happen that happened in the 90s though there's right, like certain ideas yeah it did it happened in the yeah. late 80s and it was christians that did it but yeah it, it, it's like you know uh i don't understand why like this didn't no this didn't occur to anybody right that this kind of shit would start happening that we have like an understanding of certain things that are, you know, codified in the law and should be, you know, uh, uh, expressed throughout our culture. That mm-hmm. you have freedom of speech, you have freedom of expression. Yeah. You don't try to get people fired for saying something you don't like. The jokes are jokes. It's fucking art. And that no, we need to rethink these things. Yeah. Well, this is we already did. Right. We thought about all these things. Right. 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 For hundreds <clears throat> of years, and we got it to just, this point. It's also fucking disappointing that it's like. Come SNL as an institution is just like throwing a writer under the bus completely. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, now it's like, what happened? First of all, you put Trump on TV, so suck my dick, number mm-hmm. one. And now when someone's doing their job, good joke. It was a solid joke, you know. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, even that fucking joke. offensive. It wasn't about him. They weren't make, She wasn't making fun of him for being fucking, you know, but developmentally disabled. Well, really. here's here's what you do: is you do a joke where you call Baron Trump trans, and then no one knows who to be upset at. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know who to get mad at, that. <laughs> because it, to be trans is to be perfect, I guess. And if you ever insult, <laughs> if you ever insult, you deserve to be fired for writing a joke that punches, you know, down like that. Whereas you should be punching up towards a mentally disabled boy <laughs> who is in no way at fault for anything Donald Trump says or does. Yeah, but, you know, I, whatever. It wasn't a fucking... You shouldn't be suspended for jokes. You shouldn't be suspended. But, I mean, there is really no defense of the joke and say there's no punching up there. This isn't sure. an incident where, you know, she. there's any way by, by their there metrics... There isn't really a defense of Daniel Tosh, what he said. I know, but the defense... But, here is what, here's what the defense is, that he's a fucking comedian and he's allowed exactly. to tell jokes. But you already threw that one out the window. And you're allowed to tell bad jokes, too. You're, you're you already to threw that up. one out the window, so there really is no defense. This is yeah. what you fucking wanted. Yeah. If you think this is, again, if you think this is a precedent being set, uh, examine your own fucking, you know, actions and opinions over examine the last two years. Examine that. Examine that. Check your privilege. Yeah. Check take a, that take a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that sucks, Dick. Get him. However, mirror. we are watching good, clean, wholesome comedy right now as we speak. Yeah. Decidedly, uh, re- like so right wing conservative. Yeah, yeah. The Tim Allen shows. Well, it's funny. I was looking online, and Christian a lot of a lot of other people are trying to like compare it to All in the Family, and it's like, do you not know Tim Allen? <laughs> Right. I mean, it's not. It's, if it's there satire. was no social point whatsoever. If Archie Bunker was supposed to be the non-ironic hero of yeah, that, yeah, yeah. then it sort of is like that. Except now they have two screw-up liberal sons, or like boy uh, boyfriends of daughters, and one is just 
Pajama. So liberal and obviously gay. Yeah. yeah. I love well, it. Well, he's like a graduate of gay conversion therapy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, he, he passed, he passed the program. He got the certificate and the hard hat that they give you at the end of, uh, Whatever that is. Yeah, they like make fun of him for thinking that uh, global warming's a, a problem. <laughs> they were like, yeah. they're like, why is global? Why is the rising ocean a big deal? Isn't that mean there's more room for the fish? <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> they made that joke. They made that I joke. Missed it. <laughs> this one's about um, unions. I can't wait to see what happens. And they mentioned church a bunch and vaping. This episode is about vaping. Yeah, and the unions. shows it, the takes so far: anti vaping, anti union, pro gay son. As long as he's pro in the making closet. fun of him, yeah. Um, There's a crack, cracking wise lesbian who is not allowed to wear skirts. <laughs> She's always been in pants in every situation. Even uh, oh, the daughter's supposed to be a lesbian, a vaping no, daughter. The other, no, no, the daughter. other one. No, the third daughter. Is she a daughter or is she just a girl? I don't know. The show actually takes place in an alternate universe where everyone's gay. <laughs> and so these guys are all actually progressive because they've decided to have heterosexual relationships. Ooh. Oh. So that's where the satire lies. Oh. That's pretty good. It's not Denver, Colorado. It's uh, Denver, Mars. Ooh. It's in its colony. That was another nice riff on the show. Is uh, explaining. You ever do that shit where it's like you get so depressed you start looking up terraforming? No. Like those are my two go tos. These are I think about killing myself, or it's like, man, what if I just lived on fucking Mars, dude? (laughs) How far away are we from that? You would love three o'clock in the morning, looking up how long it'll take before we can have a cloud city on Venus. Can't you? Somehow I'll be like, uh, you know, I I can escape my own fucking mental state and just, you know, wear a cape. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll solve all your problems. To be Lando here. Calrissian of Venus. <laughs> you would love to go to Mars. You should apply. You can go. Yeah. There's people that are going to die on Mars. That yeah. Can apply right now. Maybe I will. You could just build shit up there. Yeah. yeah it's going to be you and a bunch of sad. We'll men do the podcast there. over Skype. I mean, people used yeah. to do that shit. You think about like the guys that were like, "Yeah, I'll go west." Right. I'll go get fucked to death by a bear in the woods. It was awesome that you could just. If you got tired of your life, you could just fucking buy a horse, just keep riding until you found a new mm-hmm. city, and then be like, I'm a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a woman yeah. doctor. Well, I'm a pussy doctor. I accidentally doctor. killed 300 people. Yeah, you uh, could murder people and just, that was, you just leave. <laughs> yeah. Well, the telegraph changed all that because they could wire your, wire your description in the next town over. Even that, you grow a mustache. That's how you, then you become a road agent. Fuck. That's what I want to be, dude. I want to be a, a road fucking agent. road agent. That was a job for a long time. Yeah. What yeah, you just, people you go on, on the road, road and you, you protect just... them and kill Indians and shit. Nice. Yeah. That's yeah. mostly what I want to do is kill Indians. How funny would it be like <laughs> the, the cowboy, the cowboy that's like, you know, like uh, I'm a I'm an engine scalper or whatever, but then you're like killing like Hindu people in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice immigrant family. They were yeah. Indians. <laughs> Comanche. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Uh, I love Astoria for that. There's so many different types of fucking... If you put a racist, an old school racist in Astoria, they would go crazy. Mm-hmm. I feel like there are probably. There was like a woman in... With, Wasn't that where a liter- job and a yeah. fucking Santa hat? It's like when you go to the M&M the store and they have a bunch of M&M collars you've never seen before. <laughs> it's like a racist in Queens. It's like a diabetic in that fucking... The M&M flagship store. Wasn't All in the Family literally in Astoria? Yeah, it's in Queens, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I'm talking about now. Now yeah, it's of course, like the of most course. fucking diverse place mm-hmm. on... I've yeah, never yeah. fucking been to it. There's awesome. a lot of Muslims, a lot There's of... There's some Slavs using the N-word. South Americans. So many yeah. Muslims. Americans. You say it like that? You say it like BBC style? The woke style. Muslims. Yeah. Yeah. Muslims. Muslims. Muslim. Muslim. I'll say Muslamic. <laughs> you do a hard Z. Yeah. Muz. Look out, Muz. Muz. I go Muz. I call him Muz. <laughs> Muz. Mujahideen. <laughs> Mujahideen. <laughs> That's such a cool word. <laughs> Mujahideen. I want to sign up for the yeah. Mujahideen. It sounds like a type of Cadillac. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. A Fleetwood Mujahideen. <laughs> yeah. What I get a mu- Mujahideen Cadillac shooting break Seville. <laughs> see. Have you ever seen Four Lions? What's Four Lions? Lions. Uh, it's like a it's British a... movie. It's like a comedy about t- uh, suicide bombers. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like... So what this show is, and Tim Allen's show, he's a vlogger. I, I oh the end oh, of yeah, every episode also, is like his final Jerry's final thoughts or whatever, yeah, and, he and does then his and they vlog. show his vlog. That's where yeah. he makes all his money. He's so in the show for he, outdoor man. Yeah, in this show he plays a like a millionaire vlogger <laughs> uh, who works at a gun shop, and so Wait, he's, really? he's yeah a no it's an and so he's like store. culturally working class because he's racist. 
<laughs> but he's still like a rich man that's wearing like a you know two hundred dollar denim button down shirt and just makes vlogs. Yeah, that's the funny thing about this show is that like because it exists in two thousand seventeen, they have to have like people of color, but they're all just like yeah. security guards, yeah, uh, yeah. a cop, a mm-hmm. lawyer. Well, for uh, who a this show is for is like you know it's for like I, like I've got an uncle that's like uh, you know he was a contractor his whole life, but he owns his own contracting business, so he's like. Got money. He's sure. got like plenty of money. Yeah, for being a construction worker. Right, right, right. And they identify with this. It's like you know, I'm, I'm just a working man. It's right. like, well, yeah, you, you live a, a pretty comfortable life. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Your son is wasting all your money on in acting school. Right. Um, I do love when fucking just conservative people have the just most screw up, just waste all their money, waste all their money as welfare on kids. NYU. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unlike me, my son. My son NYU is like taking that. a lot of money from conservative parents, mm-hmm. I'm sure. How about, school, school, how about a school dramatic called arts? NY Word? <laughs> <laughs> what does the Y stand for? I don't know. <laughs> it just popped into my head. <laughs> I got the N. I'm pretty sure I think I this, know. Like, this weird dizziness is affecting my ability to come up with jokes. <laughs> I'm going to start going in really weird directions. I like NY Word. Yeah. What could the Y stand for? Um, Young? Yeah. YMCA. It would have to be YN word. <laughs> yeah. That would be more. Y- y- YNCA? YNCA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that totally works. Yeah. Young, blank, Christians of America. Yeah. Remember how everyone knew those guys were gay? Even when we were, I remember being in like second grade and it's like, yeah, you know the village people are gay, right? That yeah. was the best bit as a little kid. Yeah, yeah. Why? It was the first time you, you could do What's this guy? And this, yeah, and the y, uh, why, is this guy in the fucking YMCA? Is he a homosexual? <laughs> I went to summer camp at the YMCA. You did? So you yeah. were gay as a child? Yeah, yeah, I was. I never got how that I was. Which one were though. you? The construction worker, the Indian? Yeah, yeah. The I was, the no, guy? I was the road agent, dude. That's <laughs> yeah. how I got kicked out at YMCA camp. I killing was the, the Indian you killed kid. the gay Indian. <laughs> yeah, no, but you yeah. scalped his balls. I, I just remember this. Yeah, no, the, the YMCA summer camp, there was this kid, Anton, that found a condom on the ground and thought it was a balloon. <laughs> Was it used? Uh, blew it up. Yeah, of course it was. Oh no! Who's just fucking using, leaving unused condoms around? I don't know, man. You like a Johnny know. Appleseed of fucking <laughs> condoms. Sometimes you got to go through condoms, <laughs> yeah. dude. Sometimes you got to go through four condoms before you can stay yeah. hard. To Johnny fucking Johnny Positive Seed. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Posse yeah. scene. Well, he went around the country <laughs> spreading HIV, <laughs> and that's the story of Johnny Positive Seed. <laughs> <laughs> the village people uh, stole a lot of valor there, you know. I'm sure that guy wasn't really in the army. He was, dude. There was a guy stealing cop valor. There was a guy stealing navy valor. Construction worker. The yeah. most important valor of them all. Yeah. yeah. Well, That's Tim Allen's stealing up. construction worker valor with this fucking show. Absolutely. You know, and it's so funny that he is like a conservative, considering like he's a convicted felon. Convicted coke dealer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That then was a stand-up comic and television star. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That is the most fucking liberal career path there is honestly yeah. no 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 he's a, he's a snitch he's he an was. official snitch he is a snitch oh really yeah that's how he that's how he reduced his prison yeah he got, caught, he got caught with something like you know like pounds 13 pounds, pounds yeah. of cocaine nice like and can you imagine how dropped, much cocaine that is and he dropped mad dimes yeah I oh, would no. snitch so quick would you I would never snitch dude Nah, you'd snitch. You gotta owe it to the guys that you're in in cahoots with. To oh, well, it depends. Who am I snitching on? Is it you guys? Yeah. I always imagine myself as like one of the characters in the movie Heat. I've never seen Heat. Oh, really? What? I want to really you're bad. Retard. Come you on, seen man. Anything. I told. Yeah. How I, have you not seen Heat? How have you not it's seen De all Niro these fucking Pacino, movies? Baby. I understand it when it's like an obscure reference or some like gay <laughs> shit. Adam. Scene. I tried to watch Heat, but I couldn't what get gay it for shit? a while. I don't know. Something like, gay, though, yeah, for sure. Yeah, one of those gay movies that you Name like. Name a movie you like. Okay, I'll, I'll right tell now. you a movie. Right Yeah. Uh, uh, have you seen uh, La, Fête de, La Fête du Thème du Quoi? <laughs> it's uh, 1938. Dude, it's so good. <laughs> Nobody speaks. It's just a woman looking at a feather for two and a half hours. <laughs> it gives you... You get like a... a, a you go into an epileptic uh, seizure because... You know, just the lights flickering the entire time. It's it's so good. That dude. does sound. It's pretty such good. a beautiful movie. I cry. I literally cried. <laughs> I I'm like, excuse me, have you seen fucking uh, Ready to Rumble? 
<laughs> is that the that's one with the movie. robots? Johnny Knoxville playing yeah. in the Special Olympics? No, that's, no, the, that's ringer. the Ringer. The Ringer. Ooh, let's yeah. watch The Ringer. <laughs> Yo, I watched Jackass 3D recently for the third time, so that's why I haven't seen movies like Heat. Uh, shit's good, dude. Jackass is so Jackass good. Jackass is hilarious. Jackass is the funniest movie, It's man. so well edited, too. I don't think there's a funnier movie. I fucking love that shit, dude. They just dress up as ducks mm-hmm. and then you just <laughs> shoot them up in the air and then you just shoot them with ping- <laughs> paintball guns. <Yeah. laughs> that shit is, uh, and then they just like fucking went into a ram's enclosure and played a tuba and, got, and just got rammed by <laughs> no, They just like funny costumes, yeah. so look stupid, and get fucked up by something. Yeah. It's a beautiful form. I think Jackass and Borat are probably... For laugh for laugh, the two funniest. Borat, movies. the first time you see it, might be the best comedy. Of I time. almost, I thought I was gonna die. Yeah, the first time I saw, it. I, I saw it with my breathe. dad. Yeah, yeah. I saw it with my really? dad too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, really, it's a good movie to go he see. He fucking dad. loved it. I've never so seen much. anything in a theater with my father. Dude, the hardest really? Really? except for Titanic. The hardest, me and my dad were dying <laughs> at that titties. line uh, when when he's at the zoo and there's that fucking giant turtle just eating it like a head of lettuce and he looks at it and he's like, "What kind of dog is this?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man I yeah. love me some damn board It's tough because it doesn't The second The repeat viewings aren't as good No it's good dude I no, watched it recently good. I watched it recently It really it Probably because I hadn't seen it in a couple yeah, years I need, forgot some jokes If you but don't watch it if you It watch, held up If you watch it every five years That's the sweet spot I was I was howling Man that's I was, how I am with Band of Brothers I rewatch it like every year And I'm I'm right in the middle of it right now also I've never f- seen that. Fuck, it's so good, dude. I will see that. It's so good. I get like withdrawal after I watch it. I'm just like thinking about Band of Brothers for like a month afterwards. We should go to war, boys. Yeah. We, we should. We should join uh Piss Big Granddad. Yeah. And and and, and fight Guys, for we the... could go to war right now on Twitter against the Pepe. No, frogs. keep going. What should we do, stuff? We should go to actual war, dude. Yeah. Fuck up some hang out with some cool curds. Yeah. And just sh- fuck shit up. That's gonna be great. When There's you, girls when in you that go army. when it's you cool. go help nice. help people that are like but temporarily allied with the United States, and then three years later you're just not allowed to fly anymore because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you fucked up and chose the wrong one. Oh, we would definitely choose the wrong one. Yeah, we there would was be... a guy. There was a guy that went to Libya to just like cover uh, uh, like all the Arab Spring shit. And at the time, the U.S. government had no problem with it. They were like, yeah, that's fine. And then, like, two years later, he was just not... He had trouble getting back in the country. Jesus Christ. He was on the no-fly list. Holy yeah. shit. And it took, like... I think the ASLU helped him out, and it took, like, a God long time damn. to get him off the no-fly list. But, yeah, you should never fuck around with that shit. If God you want to, you know, live your life unencumbered in the United States. But we got to be brothers, dude. We got to be a band of brothers. Yeah. Well, then how are we going to go to war? When we take over a fucking post office. Now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're fucking talking. Mm-hmm. We get we get camoed up. Yeah, we get the fucking. What's mm-hmm. the best kind of camo? Not that uh, digital for a camo. post office. Well, it's going to be uh, long fingernails and extra large Dunkin' Donuts, chai cool, chocolate, <laughs> um, a weave. That's a good. You need that. You need giant hoop earrings. <laughs> Uh, you need to not know fucking shit about anything going on at the post office. You need to be very Check. angry about the line. Check. Yeah. We can do all that shit. Uh, that's, that's What about the best having camouflage. a generally pleasant attitude? Should no, we have that? Absolutely no, absolutely not. No. <laughs> yeah. Should we be annoyed that someone's asking us to do our job for yeah, 30 yeah, seconds? Yeah, absolutely. All right. That's I a good post office. Yeah, yeah. We can do this. Good post Excuse office Excuse me, move. sir. That is not my job. No, it yeah. literally <laughs> is. Your job. I'm about yeah. to go on break. Yeah. I really that I respect so much uh like I wish I could be as assertive as a middle aged black woman two minutes from her break. Yeah. Do you know what if I could have that in my life? You know what's a good a need, good dude. movie but it has such a retarded plot point. Literally a retarded plot point is the uh, uh the score. What's eating Gilbert Grape? No. Uh the score with mm-hmm. uh, fucking uh, De Niro and uh Ed Norton, where Ed Norton plays the retarded guy. Oh shit. Never you haven't seen, seen it? it? No. Nope. Oh, so basically there's this customs office. In, like Robert De Niro plays like, you, you know, it's the like usual plot. Like one last, I'm doing one last one job. One last job. And so the job is at this uh, this customs office where they have this scepter. This like scepter that inside the scepter there's like some maybe a million dollar fucking okay. thing or something. Okay. Something like that. And it's just sitting in the, in the lockup of this customs office. I don't know how much it's worth. So Ed Norton's like a younger thief and he approaches... 
you know, Robert De Niro, he's like, I've been casing this place for six months. I got a job in there. And so he's working at the customs office, but his cover is that he's mentally retarded. <laughs> So half the movie is Ed Norton going into work like, oh, my, 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 hi, oh I've Danny. seen that. No, I have seen yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And is that then the it's going to steal the thing and then sneak away. Is that with and Brando? It's like, that is not how yeah. you keep a low profile. <laughs> right, 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 right. You, you know, like that fucking, the place is going to get robbed and they're going to be like, you know, hey, wasn't there a retarded guy that worked <laughs> <Yeah>. here? <laughs> they're just going to forget. That no one's guy eating that all the needed someone to hold anymore. his dick to, yeah, when yeah. he was at the urinal. <laughs> Wait, Brando's in that movie, right? <laughs> yeah, Brando's in it for he the is? first like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just love it. There's a scene where he's in the He's couch. so fucking he's, fat. He's, in the, he's on the couch in his like, big fucking, you know, like satin suit in the <laughs> yeah. beginning. And he's like, oh, wait, Nick, yeah, Nick, he's got Nick, come here. I tell you, I got such a good idea for you on this one. And he's like just morbidly obese. His he body, wears a white suit. Yeah, in he, that just movie. Body, he just doesn't know how to sit yeah. in any way. It's great. Somebody told me that he refused to be filmed from the waist down. Yeah, he wasn't movie, wearing so pants. He was just never wearing pants. Yeah, that but is, I've heard that too. I we think watched you told it. Me that. We watched it, and you can see his pants. So I was very disappointed. It's so amazing that probably one of the most handsome men of all time ended up looking like that. It's, yeah, it's pretty insane the transformation. It makes sense to me. You think Why? you're gonna get real nasty looking when you're older? Well, I'm not one of the most handsome men in the world. I'll probably yeah, just I'll probably I will probably get pretty nasty looking. Do you think I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be nice. I, I feel like I look better same. I look better every year. Yeah, you're gonna look like Gnome. Chomsky? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll just say gray hair, you know, hundred and twelve like pounds. Gnome Chomsky. I'm gonna look like shit. I hope that's what what's funny what's funny is I'm always like yeah, I mean, I've just been fat my whole life. I'll just stay fat and I'll be fine. But then I realized, like, oh, no, my body's just going to deteriorate. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's going to keep getting worse. Mm, you don't yeah. just get to be fat as shit your whole life. Dude, I'm, not. I'm not even 30 yet. And I'm like, and I'm, I, I've just, the last three days, I just have these weird dizzy spells all yeah. the time. My fucking no, you're gonna knees die. hurt. Yeah. I, th um, I think the years, whatever black Chinese mold you were fucking inhaling for two straight years has a terrible effect. Yeah. Uh, even that weird place in Baltimore you lived. No, that place is fine. Was it? Yeah. With the clown? With the clown, With the yeah. raped clown. <laughs> yeah, the that clown that got clown. raped. Yeah. <laughs> the clown that had PTSD from being I raped. I think that's that's the genesis yeah. story of a lot of I like clowns. That, that guy was like, is like, are you a joke I wrote when I was 13? Yeah. That really, that does feel like you were in some yeah. weird movie where your fucking uh, notebook from your first year of stand-up yeah, got yeah, possessed yeah. by the devil. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. No, that guy was just like, what if... Uh, fucking Spencer's gift t-shirt was a human being's life story. <laughs> Aren't those t-shirts like kind of like slutty? Isn't that the Spencer's gift uh, point of view? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Like, uh, everything in Spencer's gift is like, you know, you're 30 now, you fucking old piece of shit. Stare <laughs> yeah. at some pu pussy titty. And then also just, yeah, dildos for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. I stole a shirt from Spencer's. It was great. Those were my shoplifting days, dude, when I was a badass, when I yeah. sold weed and shoplifted in uh, 11th grade. You were a shoplifter? Yeah, I stole... What did you steal? I stole ring? a Biggie t-shirt, mm. just to show him that I was a bad boy. I just literally... And it wasn't even stealing. It was like, I waited in line for 20 minutes, and I was like, I'm just going to walk out. And yeah. then I just did. And, but I used to do that shit all the time at grocery stores. Grocery stores are the best. I would just pick up food and then start eating it in the store and then walk out. Oh yeah, that's, oh dude, I would go to the, the rules. I had I had my the giant by in uh, Baltimore where I lived when I lived in Charles Village. That giant on fucking thirty third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would every time I would pick up a to go hot container and just put three pieces of fried tilapia in there and eat them while shopping. And then my dessert was a lar bar. Yeah, and I I stole probably over the the one year I lived there. Seven thousand dollars worth of like <laughs> fish and lar bars. Like, yeah. I ate that. Wait, so are lar bars like uh, like Luna bars? Those are, like women's. Nah, dude. Here's the lar a lar bar. It's good candy? as shit, dude. No, no, that's a Luna bar is women's candy. A lar bar is like candy for women. A lar bar is candy for like fucking uh, like low carb mountain climbers. It's like there's no there's no fucking uh, you know mountain climb. It's just for women, dude. No, dude. It's you've for, been, it's for you've been tricked by marketing. No, it's for badass. It's like people climbers. that like think that cliff bars are for like mountain climbers. No, mountain. That's no. I don't eat mountain cliff bars. I'm talking lar bars, bitch. No added sugars. You know, it's fucking. Uh, it's all natural. It's just dates and cashews and chocolate and peanut butter 
and delicious stuff. Sounds good. It's good as shit. But I also ate it with three feet pieces of fried tilapia every time, which is also very good. Unlike a nice fried fish sandwich. What do you boys Wait, think about Wait, you, you made a sandwich out of candy bars? No, I didn't do that. You Nick did, literally you just candy fucking bar died for a sandwich. second. <laughs> Nick lost consciousness for seven seconds. I saw this motherfucker's eyes light up and his pupils dilate. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? God damn, dude. Hello, uh, Nick. This motherfucker's gonna die. <laughs> Yo, what if Nick died during that discussion? Well, we wouldn't know how to upload the episodes. So. Yeah, that would be the end of the show. That would right? yeah. probably be the end of your careers also. No, yeah. no. I'd be fine. You'd be fine. I'd, I'd be, be okay. done. Yeah, Adam would be fucked. I'd but be at Funny Moms next month. There'd be, be three like, people there. There'd be three people be like, guys, Nick's coming back next week. But yeah, we, we, we'll just weekend at Bernie's Nick. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just fucking... Uh, <laughs> dude, I can record, yeah. I can record. Dude, okay, is we it, need is a it database. Possible? Here, here, is I'll, it record possible Nick, I'll record Nick. Is it is possible it's cocaine withdrawal? Could that be it? You were yeah, doing a nice sure. amount of coke. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I should... That Google. also affects your fucking serotonin and your mood and like... It, I, that could cause I've depression. Actually been in, you know what? It's weird. I've been in a pretty good mood. Mm-hmm. Which makes me worried that it is like a brain tumor or something. <laughs> no. and the brain yeah, you've tumor, been more pleasant like, the last yeah, four days. You know when you, <laughs> you know when people yesterday have like the pituitary the show, gland, you were like a relatively the, pleasant. The pituitary gland tumor, where like you grow real tall. Right, right, How right. Fucking sweet would it be if I had like gigantic? No, no, no. If I had like a tumor that like made me happy, made you happy, and I get to die. <laughs> That's that actually is the best. That's case perfect. Scenario. Oh my god! I'm we just have, like the nicest guy in the world for two and a half we months would have, before I like violently shit myself to death <laughs> on a train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, be that would be nice. We we yeah. really enjoy our time together. Oh fuck! I'm so then dizzy. we'd be then we'd be sad when you died. Yeah, you know. I don't know. <laughs> also, if coffee is going to stop you from being dizzy. Oh yeah, know. it's not. No, I make no. horrible choices. Yeah, why are you doing that? You should drink water. I drank water, dude. Did you not see this big? You barely drank. You drank that boy. whole thing. Yeah, I drank the whole thing. Oh, okay, good for you. Okay. All right, well, good. How about a tumor that? Did you also remember that guy who got a tumor and it made me want to fuck kids? Um, no, that I don't. Sucks, dude. That, that happened to a guy. Are you sure he wasn't just like, uh, oh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, it's a tumor? Because <laughs> that was a Kurt Eichenwald like tried to fuck a boy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that yeah. was weird. And he's like, yeah, it's because I have epilepsy. Or like Pete Townsend that was like, oh, I was doing research. Research. That's the best. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, my Research. hypothesis is that child porn doesn't make me come. <laughs> yeah, my hypothesis <laughs> is that boy pussy feels good on my oh, dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be, uh, let me go get, I'm going to get some multivitamins from my room. Okay. You guys chat for a second. We'll yeah, chat. that'll make you feel good. Hey, folks, Nick here, and I've got some bad news for you. Uh, I'm dying. Um, that's right. I'm dying uh, of shitty underwearitis. Okay? It's a new disease. It's real. You know, the doctors, uh, doctors know about it, okay? So it's not, it's not a gimmick. Uh, it affects 69 out of 420 American men. And uh, luckily, there is a cure. And it doesn't require health insurance that you can't afford. Uh, it's MacWeldon.com. Smart designed underwear that's exclusively for men who like premium fabrics and easy online shopping. If you go to MacWeldon.com and use promo code CUMTOWN, you can receive 20% off your order and experience underwear that will make you look and feel good. Uh, their silver line of products are naturally antimicrobial, so you can easily whisk away the stench of your previous shameful underwear that was probably killing you. Uh, so upgrade yourself with a refresh kit filled with underwear for every occasion, folks. Working out, going to the doctor, you know, working out at the doctor's office, you know, maybe the doctor's a girl. You should always try to impress your girl doctor, you know. Everyone fluffs before a physical, but that's not enough. You gotta have nice underwear, you know. Maybe you can maybe you can marry your doctor. That'd be pretty sweet, huh? So go to MacWeldon.com, check out their selection. Maybe get some shirts or socks or underwear. They got a lot of good stuff on there. And if you don't like it, just let them know and they'll let you keep the clothes and refund you the cost. Uh and use remember use promo code Cometown to receive twenty percent off. Thanks. Um. Yeah. So okay. So let's plan out this weekend at Bernie's thing because Nick's probably okay. got another couple weeks. Left. Here's what we need. So we pair take, of sunglasses, we take, Hawaiian shirt, of course, clearly. Yes. The the wardrobes. But what we really need to do is get episodes of the podcast. Yeah. And record and isolate him saying every every word and sentence. Yeah. yeah so yeah. kind of like how they do Siri. So then we can just write his dialogue exactly. And then just get so him we to can say whatever. Train we want. the computer to know. And then so, we make a Nick algorithm. A Nick algorithm, so he'd just be like... Heavy on trans. Anyway, uh, trans diaper, uh, <laughs> diarrhea trans, uh, diaper trans. Uh, uh, trans is perfect. Yeah. What else do we have? Tra uh, we'd, have to, we'd have to upload a huge knowledge of, 
obscure UPN fucking TV shows. Oh, that's not hard, dude. You're right. You just copy paste the fucking uh, Star Trek Voyager. A random IMDb page. <laughs> <Yeah>. Wikipedia. <laughs> um, well, there's a lot more deep cuts in Voyager. That was their flagship series. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And talk about UPN. Yeah. Folks, you know, let's go. Did you guys uh, ever watch Stacked with Pamela Anderson? Uh, Pigsty. Yeah, VIP with Pamela. Was it Anderson. VIP? Yeah. Pacific yeah, Blue. Yeah. Was that UPN? Pacific Blue. Which one was that? That was uh, Cops on the Beach. Bike Cops. Hell yeah. They rode dude. bicycles I on the beach. That. So sweet you got some Sweet Valley, Sweet <laughs> Valley. Ah. Did you watch that? I watched an episode of that with Dana like a couple months ago online. Mm-hmm. And uh man, what a great show. Never saw it. Sweet Valley High? It's like uh They're twins or something? They're twins. One of them's the hot one, one of them's the smart one, but they're both incredibly fucking hot. Wait, how can <laughs> they're yeah, so be... hot, dude? So they're when the hot. one is the hot one, it just means she's dumb. Yeah. Because yeah. they're identical twins. Well, she's a bitch too. Oh, she she's acts more popular. Right, right, right. The other one's like, you know, because she can read. Yeah, she's she knows not how popular. to read and shit. Nobody likes her. <laughs> yeah. But there's uh they have one episode where there's a kid in the school who's like the greatest musician in the world and he's just oh, some yeah. like dumb he's supposed to be like a famous rock star or, uh-huh. whatever, or a painter that's what it is he's a painter and he tricks the hot girl into letting him paint her naked or oh, yeah and then the whole school sees the picture sherry she's like once the school sees that they're all gonna think i'm a fucking whore or whatever so then they trick him into being naked and then that's the episode <laughs> <laughs> oh that is smart <laughs> yeah to how big is his dick um, he actually doesn't have a dick. What? That's the moral like of the story. Doll? That's the moral of the story. That anyone <clears> that's <throat> better than you in any way probably has a smaller dick than you. That's it's what true. we learned, you know, with mm-hmm. Donald Trump. You know he's got a small dick because, oh. that, because we don't like him. He's got, he's, he's got money and stuff. He legit probably does have a small dick. How funny it would be if he... I always thought it would be um, great to, to redo the Emperor's New Clothes. Mm-hmm. But then, like, so it's the end, and the emperor is walking through the town, and everyone just sees that the emperor has the biggest dick in the world. <laughs> and then they kind of just all go home sad. And then the moral of the story is, is that yeah, no, life really is unfair. There's <laughs> no way to balance out anything. Um, anything you want to accomplish, it's not going to happen. Some people are rich, and you were born to die. Yeah, dude, that would be a bummer. If Donald Trump had a big ass dick, I would be mad. Yeah, yeah. I hope he does. Just because it would be it would so be funny for people. I hope Baron Trump has a really big dick. He probably well, does. Well, he does. He yeah. does, definitely. He's a pretty big-sized boy. I've imagined. I've yeah, imagined, from yeah no, I've it's imagined. weird because like, you see him around adults, and he does look like a boy. He's like 10, but he's like... He's huge. He's like 5'11". <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not 5'11". <laughs> and he's but, a handsome yeah. kid is the funny thing. The other two boys, I feel like, aren't that big. I think no. Eric's maybe bigger, but Don Jr. is shorter than his well, dad. Uh, uh, Baron Trump's mom was uh, China. China, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She true. was their surrogate, but it was actually Trump fucked her. Yeah. When he was on uh, WWE. Yeah, that was, that's the only way he would take a stunner is if he got to fuck that sweet China pussy. That Joni Lawler clit. Jerk She's off that dead, big old clit. Dude. Yeah. Isn't she? I have a little respect. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. R.I.P. Yeah. We're going to get fired from Cometown for fuck. you making that joke. <laughs> Shit. Dude, I, can't, I think really now we've crossed the line. Because of making fun of dead China? Because of that. Yeah, I think. I, th- I didn't appreciate how she hit men with the low blow. That was a sexist move. You could do that to a girl and it still hurts. But it would it would hurt the way like you know. I was doing it to women at the march this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just pussy punching. I was doing a lot. I was punching wi- women in the pussy, and you guys- I was like. I was like, put, I thought I was like, pussy power punch. Yeah, yeah. And then they were like, it hurts also, even mm. though we don't have balls. You know that. Yeah. Damn, really. So then I just apologized, and they said it was okay. So did you guys ever play that WW, WWE no WWF no mercy on N sixty four? Yeah. When you did the low blow and it went ding. Did yeah, it? yeah, I remember yeah, that. That was awesome, dude. Yeah. Every time you hit someone in the ding. balls, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. a little <laughs> little bell went off. <laughs> yeah, it just I made you want to hit him in the shit. balls all the time. Do you want to play that shit? Yeah, hell yeah. So I have, has it. I, I have uh, uh, like a flash card for the N64. Oh, so yeah? I'll yeah, I have, I have every game. Hell yeah. Yeah, we could do that today, actually. If you just go, bu- we buy an extra controller, I'll plug that shit in here. Hell yeah, dude. I got to go. Ben's still here, and I got to hang out with him. Yeah, I got to go to the gym. We'll do it, though. Point. Yeah. We'll do it. Um, yeah, I fucking love that game. Also, it's so, I was thinking about, uh, I watched, you guys see, have you guys seen the Jake the Snake documentary? No. Dude, do you know Jake the, the Snake Snakeumentary? has- The Snake Snakeumentary? The Snakeumentary? He has one of the worst lives of all time. Uh, he was just like a fucking, uh, 
you know, addict. I think his I think his father raped his mother, and that's how he was born. Hell yeah, which dude. is a like, very bane backstory. Yeah, and his dad mm-hmm. was a professional wrestler that didn't love him. The, anyway. The whole point, it's a good documentary, whatever. Uh, Why wouldn't that be your backstory instead of like, you know, oh, we'll use a snake. Yeah. He, yeah. That's, that's, that other shit's so much better. <laughs> it really Jake is. the bastard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jake the rape product. <laughs> <laughs> that's a much cooler. Also, I'm not sure if that's true. I think it is. But um, anyway, they just inter- they were interviewing a bunch of wrestlers and they interviewed Goldust. Like out of his makeup, Goldust <laughs> he's just, rules. He's just some white trash guy. Yeah, that, like no. loves wrestling. Dusty Rhodes. Because yeah. you were ma- no, it wasn't Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, that's no, Goldust. What's Dusty his- Rhodes is a fucking. Oh, I'm just thinking totally different dust. guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's his Gold- real name? Goldust. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, he, but it's just so funny to think you're just some white trash guy who loves wrestling. All you want to do is be a wrestler, and he just gets the gay trans character. <laughs> like, yeah. there's no way that's oh, no. how you saw. He yourself. didn't get that, dude. I feel like he he kind of like created that character. Yeah, but you just find it's it's like it's like you're just finding a niche. <laughs> You'll do anything. Goldust was insanely like progressive for its time. I know, and especially in a time where every other wrestling character was like the black. The black guy. Is that, is that progressive? I thought he was just like a hair metal guy. No, no he, he was, was gay, gay as hell. Yeah, he yeah. would like be gay to the other guys. Yeah, like, his finishing move was being very gay. And it <laughs> would, yeah, it would really like antagonize the audience. It would antagonize the the other wrestlers. People would just be losing their minds about. Yeah, they were so mad. I it mean, was kinda he like was Bruno. a bad guy. He was a bad yeah, guy a for heel. being gay. But he was a he was a high heel. He yeah. looks like a gold violent J. <laughs> yeah, what's his real name? Uh, Dustin Runnels. Dustin Reynolds, Reynolds. not Dustin Rose. Because Dusty Rose is a, is a yeah, completely yeah. different yeah, wrestler. Yeah. Legendary. Um, yeah, he rules, uh, man. Yeah, it's Dusty Rose Jr. was one of his ring names. Oh, okay. So, okay, it's the so same see, dude. But that's the thing. No, no, Dusty Rose, it's not the same dude. was an older guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's the thing. You'll try any gimmick, and the one that stuck <laughs> was just being gay and wearing face Oh, he's Dusty Rhodes' son. Oh, he is? Yeah. Yeah. He actually is his son? Yeah. Oh, damn. That makes sense. Dusty Rhodes is just like, just telling him to be a gay guy. He's cool, dude. He was like a outer space. Yeah, he's not gay. Trans woman. I know he's not gay IRL. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, he had a woman that would like come out to like he had a, a yeah, but girl he was that would come gay. out. Yeah, yeah, but he was also because fucking every a wrestler hot girl. was afraid. He's under the ring named Goldust, where he teams with R Truth. What's R Truth? I don't know. It's a Reddit uh, sub. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it sounds like. <laughs> I think that must be a new development. I don't know. I just remember Goldust being gay and it being funny that he was gay to me as a child, which probably sends the wrong message. Well, yeah, but it, I guess maybe it was trying to say that gay is bad, but it was still it kind definitely of was insane saying gay that was bad. he was one of the most visible sort of queer characters <laughs> of the 90s. <laughs> it's true. That Goldust is a trailblazer. He was. He kind of stole some Bowie shit, too. I mean, that's he what wrestling... He totally stole Bowie's All wrestling shit. does is steal shit from other things. Of course. It's yeah. not steal. I, I, never, I never interpreted him as gay. Really? What? Yeah. Goldust? Yeah, He no. would, like, kiss guys and yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah but I didn't get think people it was him. would get so just, mad. I thought it was just weird. And his finishing move was, like... Putting your legs, spreading your legs open and kicking you in the dick or touching your dick or something. I don't remember what it was, but it Powerful was like... Powerful move. <laughs> I think it's effective. It's a good move. Uh, but anyway, that's that's my t- that's my wrestling take. Yeah, I remember his his uh, rival was this guy, Val Venus. Val Venus was For awesome. a while, who I think was a former male porn star. And he used was, to come out... He used to hello, come out, ladies. Hello, ladies. <laughs> yeah. He used to come out with a fucking... Uh, towel, a towel wrapped around his, uh, yeah. around his, and he would waist. sexually take it off. Yeah, and he'd sex. Yeah, no. yeah. the gold dust this character. So and Dustin Rhodes, the person, is not a homosexual. Rhodes was married to WWF star uh, Terry Runnels during the nineties and had a child Terry? named Dakota. Yeah, hell yeah. Gold dust, the character, just plays mind games with wrestlers. And yeah, fans. right, dude. As told on WWE television, of no, course. the gold dust I'm character not he was is not a homosexual. Gay. That's what they're saying, but he was clearly gay. Yeah, he would use gay. He was he gay. Would use being the mind games were pretending he was gonna fuck them. Yeah, <laughs> that was the mind. Of course, game. yeah. He was gay. Dusty Rhodes Jr. just doesn't want to admit he could only stick on to the WWF by being gay as hell. Um, but Terry, that's a good that's a good pull. She was hot, dude. She was on. She was like his ring girl. She would what like she? she would accompany him. Yeah. Damn, t- I beat off to so many WWE. Girls, there's that one pic of Stephanie McMahon where you can kind of see her tits through. Did like, you a shirt. ever? Did you ever hear Michael read that fanfic that he wrote about uh, 
Sable uh, having sex with uh, <laughs> what's that dude's name? Vince McMahon. That did no, the dude that did UFC with like the tattoo on his oh oh chest. oh Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Yeah. No, that's awesome. He wrote like this erotic story about them fucking each really? other. Really? Yeah, it's so funny. Damn, we should ask if we could read it. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I. Uh, I've. Oh man, the wrestling girls were so. There was pre when I when it was still AOL dot com when you would still have to log in through AOL. In the dial-up days, I got in trouble for uh, emailing my friend a picture of Trish Stratus when you could see her nipples. I was like, <laughs> and Pete is my fucking friend Pete who ratted on me. I emailed it to him. He printed it out, folded it, and put it under his pillow. <laughs> and my dad was friends with his dad, and they just found it one day, and then he immediately ratted on me. And then my father fucking humiliated me for being a normal boy who beats off the big-tittied wrestling women. But, dude, yeah, um, I remember Sable in fifth grade. It was the hottest. That girl. was big. And then I looked at a picture of her recently. I was like, ugh, <laughs> that's that's what. Yeah, we well, were she all showed into. her tits on on that one paper. Playboy. I'm kind of hands off on this conversation. I didn't give this much of a shit about wrestling. Really? You never, you never, any, any. No, I jacked off. We've established this. I fucking have just beaten off the porn. I didn't need to beat. You off never the... beat off the wrestling girls. No, I never did either. No, never. What? I would go on a fucking specific site and find stills before videos. This is pre-video. I would find stills of them all being naked in whatever weird softcore porn shit they were exploited into before they got into wrestling. Yeah, and I would which arguably porn or wrestling is a form of softcore sure, core porn. Sure, sure, sure. Yep, well, anyway, you guys missed out on beating off the wrestling girls. That's all I'll say about that. Are comics still into uh, WWE? Like There's adults? some comics who are. Yeah, that are still into it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Wait. yeah, no, and I think a lot, for the most part, it's like a put on. There was like, uh, when the comic book thing got big. I think it's like the new comic yeah, book Yeah, when thing. comic book shit got big a couple years ago, when everyone's like, well, you know, I'm really into comic books, or, like zombies or bacon, right. or, I mean, that other <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, like, I remember talking to one or two people, they're like, yeah, I just, you know, I bought my first comics, uh, recently. It's like, no, don't, don't do that. You're yeah, starting at Don't 30. fucking do that. And you know what? Yeah. When I was growing up, I don't know a single fucking person that read comic books. I would not read a this. single, not a single fucking one of my friends read comic books, and we were in the market for it. We played video games. We were right. fucking losers, you know. We yeah. would have, we would have been the people that read comic books, and none of us read comic books. I, oh, the only thing I read once was Eldis would buy the Simpsons comic books, yeah, and I read two of those, and that stopped. Yeah, that, and the only reason we did that is because we love the Simpsons, right? Exactly. Yeah. And then, but yeah, I don't know anyone that fucking read comic books, and now suddenly everyone I'm friends with. In comedy, was grew up like, well, I'm a huge, huge comic book head, you know, can't get enough of uh, comic books. Right. And I guess it started with The Watchmen or something. But, yeah, I uh, read The Watchmen in college. No, I think. I think it's all the movies, all the comic movies coming out. Yeah. People. No, there was something before the movies, though. There definitely was that movement where everyone trying to be, where being a nerd was cool again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Being like a, a sexy guy who read comic books was what being a nerd was, you know? Yeah. And I don't know. It Who's became one? Of, like, name one. There is a what? sexy guy that reads comic books. I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. Whatever. I don't even know why I asked that question. But yeah, I don't. So I guess that's the thing that people are into now. I would. I. It's weird because I. I used to feel alienated hanging out with comics when they were all talking about comic books, and then then it became WWE like two years ago. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. that's just a small group, though. And some people, I think that just means you grew up white trash, honestly. Like if you went like I like WW I like WCW. No, it's but the wrestling is different because I know a lot of people that like wrestling. I liked it as a child, yeah, yeah. for sure. And I, I didn't because there was no network television wrestling show. SmackDown, dude. Yeah, SmackDown came later. That's true. It came in so middle it school. It debuted, yeah, school. like in like nineteen ninety eight or something. Right. Mm-hmm. And the wrestling Raw was thing, all on cable. Yeah. Wrestling TNT. was real popular. Like the height of that stone cold shit was, was probably before, what, right. like ninety six? 97? So, I don't know. Yeah. yeah like and whenever SmackDown grade. came out, it was after that. There so was I would watch it just so I could have the conversations with people. But at that point, nobody really gave a shit about wrestling. Right. It was on the way out for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I got into it with my dad because during the Goldberg era because you know, he was a Jew who got to hold lose. it down for our boy, dude. <laughs> 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 this uh, guy with the tribal tattoo that wears black underpants <laughs> yeah. that has no... He didn't really have much of a personality. He, like, yeah, his, his whole personality was he didn't lose. And there's no reason why he didn't. He, was, he wasn't that good at wrestling. And his move was the, the spear, spear, which is just tackling, tackling. someone. Yeah, it's yeah. like an NFL tackle. It sucked. He sucked. WCW was tight, though. The Wolfpack... Woo! 
That was WC. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I was in the Wolf Pack. Fucking love that shit. Uh, the red one though. Do you remember fucking... ECW that was on TV? That was cool. It was like just guys just running cheese up. graters across <laughs> each other's faces. Yeah. I saw a funny clip someone sent me the other day of Brett the Hitman Hart fighting Yokozuna. Yokozuna was a Samoan guy from Hawaii playing uh, a Japanese character. Yeah. You know, Brett as a Hitman... kid, I didn't realize that Yokozuna just meant like heavyweight. Right. I didn't right. realize yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. I thought it was one. There was one guy who was the best at sumo wrestling, and his name was Yokozuna. That's what I thought too. Yeah. And uh, I, it blew my mind that that Yokozuna wasn't also a sumo wrestler. <laughs> right. Right. In, right. In you know what's crazy about sumo wrestling? There was a um, a Czech guy. I think he was Czech a couple years back. Who was like 190 pounds, you know, very like like a. I mean, you know, he's a strong guy, but compared right. to that, and he became like one of the best sumo wrestlers because he would just move out of the way. Wow, he was just super fucking fast. And Japanese people were probably so mad at that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they're yeah. like, no, you push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he would like he just dominated. Damn. Yeah. So the 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 moral of that story is that fat people aren't good at anything. No, come on, it's that even their one thing that they're supposed to be good at sumo wrestling. They're bad. I'll, I'll sumo wrestle you and beat you, bitch. No, you won't. You, you don't even won't. know the rules. You don't either. You would eat all the sand. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody sand ate the taste rope. Good. Yeah. Fat yeah. people don't eat anything. It has to be delicious. And then I'll eat a lot of it. I'm yeah. not just eating sand. Yeah. Unless there's a little, maybe somebody dropped a, a chocolate eclair in the sand. Yeah. And there's a little bit of icing left. I just, I love that they wear diapers <laughs> and that like, or, or that rope. Like the yeah, yeah, Yokozuna yeah. gets like a big rope he has to wear instead of the diaper. Mm-hmm. Remember Rikishi, his move was just sitting on people's faces with his ass out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he just wore a thong and you can fucking, you, you definitely got that guy's big fat ass yeah, all yeah, over yeah. your face. God damn it. Gold dude. dust is just coming in his pants, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude. The reason I was banned from watching wrestling and why I stopped being a fan, because right at the height of that era, I gave my brother a Stone Cold Stunner, and but I followed through and pulled his eye onto my knee, and he just had the biggest black eye. And then I remember I was like, just play it cool, dude. If mom and dad ask, just chill out. And he's like, should I go in my room? I was like, no, no, no. If you go in your room, it'll look like you're hiding. So our plan was he was just going to sit on the couch with a pillow over his eye, and then my mom was just like, immediately walks. She's like, why is there a pillow on your eye? And he's like, huh? Uh, no reason. <laughs> and then she pulls it off. She's got this giant black eye. She's like, no more wrestling. And she was like, that was it. And then did you slam your mom's head through the table? Yeah, then I rock bottomed that fucking bitch. <laughs> then I climbed up top on a fucking uh, a 20-foot ladder. And One of my favorite movie-going elbow. experiences is me and my friend Jordan went to see uh, The Wrestler. Or not The Wrestler, uh, The Marine, the opening night. Yeah, uh, John yeah. Cena. Yeah, and me and him were just high as shit outside the theater and there was like a 27 year old mom with her like you know son oh, there no. yeah she was like just some hot like trashy single mom right and she was like woo yeah y- y'all going to see my boy cena like we're <laughs> gonna go see cena and we're like uh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's sad behind it. she's bringing her son to a midnight show jesus in christ the marine that kid probably has a very good life right now. I mean, she seemed like a good mom. It actually touched me in a way. <laughs> Wasn't John Cena's character <laughs> that dick. he was like yeah. hip hop? At first it was, but then he became so yeah. popular that he just Dude, that became video, a good but he, that he video wears of, jean shorts. That video That's of John thing? Cena announcing yeah. to the crowd <laughs> that Osama bin Laden's been killed <laughs> is yeah. so fucking funny. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what an American hero. Yeah. Oh, uh, fuck. I just, I had, I just remembered a funny wrestling memory. I went, me and my brothers went to a, uh, autograph signing of the Hardy brothers and Trish Stratus at East Point Mall in Dundalk. Oh, <laughs> it was yeah. just like so much white trash waiting to just fucking, I, she I, was so miserable. I dude. met, uh, I met, I went to like, uh, like the DC, like auto expo or something like mm-hmm. a car show when I was like five or six or something with my dad. And I met uh, like Turbo and Laser from American Gladiators. <laughs> Hell yeah! And I forgot about American Gladiators. Like, I had signed pictures of them, and I kept them <laughs> underneath my bicycle seat, all like folded up, all shitty, because I thought they were worth like millions of dollars. <laughs> like I don't want anyone to steal my autographed pictures of Turbo from American Gladiators. Oh fuck, man! People that go to that shit is so like people cherish that shit. There were guys who legitimately just thought they could fuck Trish Stratus at that fucking signing. Yeah. They just thought there was like, 
Oh, well, have you ever seen the Louis Thoreau documentary on bodybuilders? No. It's great. They like cover female bodybuilders, and there's the most like Dick Fieldian guy yeah, yeah. that's obsessed with the female bodybuilders, and he's like, I just love their bodies. <laughs> just so strong and powerful. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, is this guy doing a character? I feel like all bodybuilding competitions have those people in the crowd that are fans of the that's sport. That's the only, you know, the weirdest people in the world. People look at like, you know, bodybuilding competitions and the guys on stage and are like, how could you do that to yourself? Like, what possesses somebody to be that weird? And it's like, who you should be looking at are the people it, in the is audience. the guys who judge those professions. <laughs> <laughs> that someone's just like, yeah, good muscles. Well, I just love it enough muscle shape. All it is is who can flex better. It's not even yeah, like who. Point. It's not even who picks up the most weight, which is like a competition. Yeah. It's who looks better, just flexing and oiled up. Yeah, and who's like, good at dehydrating themselves to the point where you can see like the individual muscle fibers. Yeah, dude, it's fucking. And they get so bronzed up too. Mm. Can we get that whatever oil that shit is and just look that it's way? Just olive oil. That's it. Yeah. I just, what I like too is like you look at some of them and like they have so much fake tanner and real tanner on their bodies that they look like a fucking slim jim. Yeah. And it's like uh, how is blackface wrong? But that's okay. <laughs> it's wrong when you do that to your face. But if you do it to your body, it's what art and yeah, sport? It's sport. Yeah. If you're jacked as hell, it's I just sport. I I just want to go to a bodybuilding competition just in blackface. <laughs> Not work out. <laughs> My muscles are really jacked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just start wearing black and be like, I want you to see how jacked my cheeks are. Yeah. <laughs> Look how big my smile is. <laughs> That's why I drew this red circle around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <A> highlight. <laughs> how, how good my smile is. <laughs> oh, fuck. I love that episode of Mad Men where fucking... Uh... Jack Slattery should... Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Am I spoiling this? No, that's fine. He just... I don't give a shit. It's like his wedding is like... Uh, engagement or his daughters or something. I don't even know which character that is. It's uh the fucking silver fox, the sexy silver fox guy who fucks the Roger, owner, the boss. Yeah, not the owner, the boss. Uh, Don's Roger. boss. Yeah, yeah. Okay, is his name Roger? Mm hmm. <clears throat> anyway, to celebrate something as the entertainment, it's him in blackface singing. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> that's like that's like, and everyone's like everyone's clapping and yeah. laughing. And well, that's like really that. all you could do at a party in the 60s. You either put it <laughs> if you get way too drunk and put a lampshade on your head <laughs> and you're the comic relief or you do blackface. <laughs> or guys wearing a tie on their head? Yeah, a tie on your head's a big yeah. bit. That's a good Howie one. Howie Mandel built a career off that. <clears throat> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. How so how, did Howie Mandel do stand up? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wasn't this big f closer? He like puts a glove over his head and yeah, blows it up. I mean, he was like so incredibly fueled by cocaine. <laughs> and he was also a germaphobe too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why he shaved his head. Mm. He's worried about bugs. I actually in his hate. Head. Yeah, I'm actually. I have a full, beautiful head of hair. But yeah. I'm afraid of. <laughs> yeah, he was a germaphobe who lived in New York Germs. City. It must have been a nightmare. Maybe weird to be like a spermaphobe. Like you have to wash your hands constantly because <laughs> you think there's cum everywhere. <laughs> it's a different kind of germaphobe. They we brought this up on the podcast before. Mark Summers from from Nickelodeon, like the game show host. Yeah. He uh, was a germaphobe. Oh, really? Have we spoken about this before? Really? Yeah, yeah. He was a germaphobe. He did all, the, job, all that shit. Yeah, his job just involved children, like working with children who are getting gack poured on their heads. Like the point of all those shows was to be messy. He must have just been in a prison of... Of he like his his own personal hell, dude. Like that's on show business, television, dude. yeah. I love gacking. Was just like facials. <laughs> it was just like pouring green jizz on children's faces. Yeah. <laughs> like that's that's it. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be great when we find out that that's our generation's Agent Orange. <laughs> <laughs> is Nickelodeon gack? Is everybody get? That's why I'm dizzy right now. It's from Nickelodeon gack. You got gacked. I Did got you guys gacked. ever have the gack that you buy? Yeah, little, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I remember they like there was. I used to eat. You can make it at home. I remember that that there was like a. a they sold it too, though. Yeah, in like the daycare I went to, they were like, "We're going to show you how to make it because it's simple. It's, it's like, like flour and water. Yeah, it's like dish soap and flour or something. Yeah, yeah it's a real simple process. But mm -hmm. it's good, dude. Yeah, that, that was the first pocket pussy. Was gacked. That was so yeah. crazy that, that that's what they wanted kids to do. They wanted you to beg your. I mean, this is what I wanted. I wanted to beg my parents to go to Orlando, Florida, so I could get green jizz poured <laughs> on my head. That was like a dream. They had it at King's Dominion, though. 
Did they? There was like some kind of Nickelodeon thing at Kings yeah. Dominion. I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, well, you're from Vegas. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Kings Dominion kind of sucked. Sucked dick, dude. Where is in Virginia? Yeah, I don't really like, but I, I'm not. A, I'm not a theme park. I'm not an amusement park guy. Oh, I think really? They all sucked. Dick. The first one I ever went to was Hershey Park. I kind of like, Hershey. and I fucking love that shit. When I was yeah. a kid, I was like, "Who? This is such a good idea." Yeah, when you're a little ass kid, it's the yeah. best shit on earth. Yeah, especially a chocolate themed one. I remember. Like... I remember like trying to describe Hershey Park to my friend after we went there, and I got so excited, I like started crying. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last genuine emotion you had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I would love to see just baby Nick fucking happy about something. <laughs> Before the years of neglect dulled you. <laughs> God damn. That's a precious ass memory. Yeah. Damn, you know, you know what? We should fucking. I want to see some baby pics, dude. Yeah, you got nah, any baby all, pics? All burned. It was funny. My <laughs> my fucking uh, my mom was like, you know, I don't know where she got it. It was from my grandparents' house. It was like a photo album and shit. And there's all these pictures from like, you know, me and my cousins growing up. And then there's like a two year period where every picture of me, I just have this like scowl on my face. <laughs> I look all depressed, and I was like, "What? Did, why am I like this in every picture?" She was like, "My mom's like, ah, that's just how you were, I guess." <laughs> <laughs> I Holy like, oh, shit! Wow. That is the answer to who you are. <laughs> that that, that two-year period uh, is who this. That's yeah, how you fucking just furious. God, what do you think it was, dude? I don't know. You think you were getting molested and you blacked it out? No, I would remember that. You never know. Considering dude. like I, I remember every minute detail of every TV show I ever watched. I don't. No, I, I don't think, think I would black. Maybe out. Maybe that's station. why you do it. Yeah. To to yeah, uh, it's, to yeah, stop you're yourself young enough from remembering getting your dick sucked. Yeah, you're trying to stuff your, your brain. I don't Maybe believe. It was a I don't Jewish believe. Guy. I don't believe in repressed memories. I don't, I don't think care that's if you real. believe it. I think that's that's like just bullshit. Uh, nah, it's real. What if it was a Jew, and that's why your mom now is a Holocaust denier? Uh, well, wouldn't that make me? The, I don't think. No, no, no. Because you've repressed it, mm -hmm. so now she thinks all Jews are bad. Mm -hmm. I think I'm onto something here. I, I think it's do... funny that your mom's a Holocaust denier. Well, first and of all, she's you not would... a Holocaust denier. <laughs> she, your mom's an active. She's Holocaust a revisionist. Denier. She's yeah, a Holocaust she's a revisionist. revisionist. What does that mean? <laughs> she's my, she just means she's bad at math. <laughs> Your mom's a Holocaust denier, and uh, she's a ah. Come on, not six million. You went into yeah. you went into stand up comedy, which is like the most Jewish thing you could have done with yeah. your life. Well, I have like Jewish family. family, and I grew up around I Jews. That, yeah. So all Wait, of the all no, of the people, so a Jewish all, uncle fucked you. All of the people I bullied were Jews growing up. So it's like you know I I, I feel connected to them. Mm -hmm. Maybe the dad mm -hmm. of and the still people today you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 You're two targets of. Uh, bullying Adam and someone who is essentially Jewish. He's not he's Jewish like, at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not. That's the only reason it's fucking funny. Yeah. He got so upset one time and he was like, let me ask you something. What if I actually this is was This a different Jewish? guy. We didn't say the name. It's a different guy. Yeah, yeah. He was like, what if I actually was Jewish? And I'm like, then it wouldn't be funny. Yeah, what the it fuck? would just be fucked up <laughs> yeah, weird. Yeah, it would just be weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it's funny. Yeah. It, it's literally like if you were a guy going around in blackface and everyone was making fun of you for being in blackface, you're like, what if I actually was a black person? <laughs> And I should be like, what if I actually was a black yeah, person? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you. that's the voice you would use. <laughs> yeah. Um, fuck. What a beautiful fucking Tuesday morning it's been, boys. Yeah, yeah it's so dreary outside. But uh, we also want to say thank you to everyone oh, that yeah. came out last night. That was a killer show. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Um, you guys are great. And, and we got some good shows. This Next month we're going to do two. So Maybe got, one. Maybe? Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll check it out. Never mind. Fuck yeah, me. Well, in the we ass. got Caroline's going on, and Caroline's uh, for sure. I'm sorry. I've been so dizzy this this one. So That's I all right. Been dude. able to pay attention. You, I am a little worried about your health. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably just allergies or something. I guess, but yeah. I hope you don't die, dude. Yeah, that would suck, right? We uh, have so well, many movies to watch. Maybe. Actually, we might. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Sorry. What? what? Uh, thank you for listening to the show. What's the Caroline's date? Uh, the twenty first of 21st. February. As always, if you enjoy the show, you want to. There's better episodes. Go to Patreon.com/slash/cumtown. Yeah. Uh, apparently, you can't search for the show on Patreon. You can't. Yeah, I think they removed this from the listings or something. Because if we say "come" in the name, yeah, probably. But if you just go backslash cumtown, you're fine. Yeah, you you'll find, find it. it. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Bye.